Now we have a titration problem saying that it takes 34.35 milliliters of 0.24 molar KMnO4 to titrate an unknown sample of Fe2 plus to its endpoint. How many grams of Fe2 plus are in the sample? So I drew out a picture of the burette in the flask just to help visualize it. And it says that it takes 34.35 milliliters. So we've used up 34.35 milliliters and now we've reached the endpoint so the analyte is going to have a very faint purple pinkish color but I don't have a purple pink marker so I'm just going to substitute blue in for, for, for that and um, it okay so now we have to see how many grams of Fe2 plus are in the sample so first Let's use this very handy little formula, m times v equals moles. So molarity, which is 0 0.240 times volume, which is 0 0.03435 liters, will give you the moles of KMnO4. So 0 0.24 times 0 0.03435 that gives you about 8.24 times 10 to the negative 3. 8.24 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of KMnO4. So, now we'll use the help of the balanced equation, which I already have for you here. And we're going to get the amount of moles of Fe2+, plus and use the molar mass to find how many grams are in the sample. So we have 8.24 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of KMnO4. And in every mole of KMnO4, we have one mole of MnO4. So we could just say that for every one mole of MnO4 minus there's five moles of Fe2 plus. Now that gives us the moles of Fe2 plus, but it's asking for how many grams there are. So we'll have to multiply that by the molar mass. One mole of Fe2 plus. And let's see. The molar mass of iron is about 55.8. So I'll just put that. 55.8 grams of Fe2+. And remember, even though it has lost two electrons, Fe is still going to have basically the same mass because electrons weigh so little that they're negligible in this case. So we have 8.24 times 10 to the negative third. Multiply that by 5, and we also have 55.8. So we get about 2.29 or 2.30 if we round grams of Fe2 plus. And that's your final answer.